hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Building with Sausage. This is Mythical Sausage here. Hello, what is up? How is everybody doing? Man, today we're going to do something really cool. We're going to do something a little bigger than we normally do. Some, something not starter worthy. We're going to do something a little more advanced. We haven't done an advanced medieval house in a while. So you know what? I want to do one a little bit bigger. Not a whole giant mansion. Nothing that crazy, but something a little bit bigger than the normal starter house. So that's what we're going to be doing today. Just a larger, uh, more advanced medieval house. So we're going to be doing that today. And then also... So we're using our boy Jermsey Boys pack. So if you guys want to download that pack, the link is always in the description. Go check it out. Also, the playlist for all the builds that we have down that row. We have a bunch. You only see one. It's a very cool build, but it's a bunch that way, I promise. Over oh, probably 160 builds behind there. Uh, but you know what? Let's get this started. And let's flip. So, these are the materials we're going to be going with. We've got stone, cobble, stone, stairs, some regular stone. We're going to be mixing and texturing that up. Uh, we got some dark oak logs in here. We got some bone blocks and we got some spruce. And we're going to bring a couple things along the way. But let's get this started. So, uh, I want to do... Uh, let's see. Let's start it up on the bottom. We're going to be mixing a little bit of cobble and a little bit of stone for the first layer. So let's start it out right about, let's see, uh, here, <laughs> right here. We're going to start out doing primarily the base out of stone, but then we're going to come in and texture it with some cobble and some regular stone. But let's do an outline first. So I'm thinking about starting right here. Uh, let's go from this. Let's go one, two, three, four, five. Six, oops, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Thinking about a fifteen. Uh, let's see, yeah, about fifteen long. Fifteen, and then we're gonna go from here. We're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, and then we're gonna turn one, two, three. Well, technically, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and we're gonna come back and cut that off. So we got that little base. It's still, it's not a huge house. No, it's not gonna be humongous, but it's just more advanced, a little bigger than we normally would do. Now on this side, I'm gonna do a little, little pop out section uh, on this thing. So I'm thinking about popping it out right about here and right about here. Actually, let's go a little bit wider right here. So we're going to have like a little extension to this. So it's going to be a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, just a seven. And we're going to cut off right here and connect the dots right there, connecting those blocks. So we got this main section and then we have this little section on the side. And then let's maybe even put it like a door to get in there on that corner. That's going to be pretty cool. So let's start this up. So that's the first beginning of that base. So this is what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm going to come out now. Uh, let's just raise the main structure, this part. Let's raise it up. So I'm going to go. This is a one. So let's go two, three, four. Let's go four. And let's just raise it all the way up. And this is what I'm going to do. Actually, at the beginning, I always like doing this. We're going to go up all the way, up by four on all of this. And then we're going to come back in and we're going to texture it a little bit with the cobble and the stone just to make it look cool. Uh, and then I'm going to cross this way and then we're going to cross this way. Let's just do it up by four for now. I think that would be good just to get a base started out with with this thing. And then we're going to texture it all the way. So if anything for this thing, I'm just going to speed this up. So all you're going to see is me lifting this all the way up to four on all of this, just the main structure now. And then I'm just going to texture it all up. So let's do this real fast. I'm just going to texture this now with stone and cobble. Okay, give me a second. All right, so we have this all textured up. It looks pretty good. I like this. So it's just a lot of random placement of blocks. Let's see a little bit of there. Perfect. Look at that. I love this. It's so good. It looks so good with Optifine and Jerv's uh, pack. It looks so good. Look at that. All right, so we did uh, texturize this. And if you do it in default, it's still going to look pretty good. So don't you even worry about it. Okay, now, another thing I want to do. Uh, I want to elevate uh, this part over here. Uh, so let's do like a little outside little porch. Uh, kind of thing. So I want to go from this end right here. Okay, we're gonna go out uh, with the stone. We're gonna go right here at this corner. One, two, three, four, uh, and that's it. Four. And then here I'm gonna turn it. One, two, three. Well, technically, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we're gonna come this way and connect this one to one, two, three, four, and five. So it's like a little porch. And then here, I'm just going to seal this off uh, just with random block placements like this. You don't have to do it exactly like me. Just randomly just throw blocks down like so. So it looks kind of cool. And then maybe texture in a little bit of the stone inside. And then maybe on the outside, let's move some of these up and just put uh, some cobble in certain spots like this. Uh, maybe something like that, like that. And boop. That looks good. Okay, so we have this little porch. Boop, right there. All right. So then 
this one is gonna be elevated and then you can pro uh, I think right here we're gonna have like a little outside little seating area so we'll take care of that later uh, now for now we have that set up now for this area I'm gonna also lift up this guy uh, so this one we're gonna lift it up let me just lift it up one two three four again we're gonna match it so I think four is gonna be a good number for this but I think I'm gonna lift this one just one higher just so we can have a little more elevation uh, when it comes to the main structure and the smaller one but this one is definitely gonna go up by four I think will be pretty good so go up like that so that's a four and then another random texture job let's do this quick all right so everything's textured up we raised this one up now this is a five this is a four and we have this little outside little porch that's gonna be connected to this side of this building right there perfect so now next step uh, what I want to do is I also want to do another uh, little pop-out extension here but I want to make this out of wood so we can actually do a little bit more uh, uh, of a detail uh, a little more texture work but without just stones let's bring in some wood to this thing so I'm thinking about putting right here uh, let's first do a little step up I want to do a step up to get to this little porch from out here so I think it's just a simple stair right about let's see where would be a good place for a stair uh, I want to maybe on the side like right here and then maybe a, a little pop-out section there I think might be okay. Let's see. Let's count what the space is from here now. Let's grab this wood real fast. It's going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think a nine will be good. Okay, perfect. So we're going to have a little nine of wood here. But first, we got a little step up. Boom. That gets over here. And then on the side, let's do this too. Uh, let's do every other... Uh, let's see. Every other one. Oh, let's see how we can do this. Hold on. Let's go from here. Bam, 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 bam. I think it's okay. Let's see. And over here, I'm going to go bam and bam. Okay. That's looking cool. Uh, and then I'm going to put some walls right here on the side. Let's put a wall here, 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 all the way around. So that's our little way around in here. Uh, and let's see. I think that's fine. Uh, we could put one more here. And I think that'll be okay because then we got the stair. And then this goes right in here. So I think that looks pretty good. I don't think we can mess with that anymore. That's perfect. Okay, let's just leave that there for now. Okay, <laughs> now uh, let's do a little extension on this little part. Um, so I, I just wanted to count the, the wood blocks, but let's actually take this out. I want to take this out from here. This is one and a two right there. Uh, let's take this little piece out for a second. I just wanted to count. Um, bam, bam, bam. Okay, so one, two. Let's do a three. And then let's, uh, since the stairs there is fine, uh, how about we do how about right there one two and then we have a log right there so perfect and then this stair kind of nestles in perfectly in there uh, so let's do okay let's do that so uh, we're here log one two so let's take a space of three one two three bam one two three bam and then that's we have that there then I'm gonna do uh, let's seal this off I'm gonna put a door to get in right there and then we're gonna take this one, two, and let's see. Oh, no, no, that was it, that was it. And then we're gonna come in right there. Uh, so we're gonna have a door here. I'm gonna maybe do a window there, uh, but we have the door on this end. I think there'll be a good spot for the door. Now, let's lift this up. I'm gonna lift this up by one and two and a three. One, two, three, one, two, three. So we have this one right here, and then here I'm just gonna lift this up. So one, two, and a three. Uh, also here, one, two, and three. Lift this up by three more, three more, three more, three more. And then here, let's just put a uh, full block. It's fine for now. And let's do a full block here and a upside down stair right there. Let's see. Let's see if that's cool. Uh, I think that's fine unless we really want to elevate it by one more. But I kind of like having this one level down. Let's see. I think that's fine. Just level all the way level to the floor. And then this one's kind of more elevated up top. Okay, perfect. So that's our front porch for now. Uh, now, let's do this. Uh, we're going to do a, uh, a little tiny roof on this piece. Uh, so we're going to do that right now. Let's grab stone as the outer edge to this uh, sweet thing. Actually, you know what? Let's go up one more cross beam just so we can give a little bit of a separation on that little portion so right here right here and let's actually put one right in the middle uh, we can even slab right here and right there slab right here and right there okay now that gives you a little more separation so let's get a stone and we're going to stone it up this direction like this we're going to take it all the way down and we're going to go upside down stairs on both sides right here right here 
I'm gonna go with full block. I mean, up stair, <laughs> stair, regular stair, upside down, stair, regular, stair, upside down, and a stair, regular, going uh, straight up to the back. So, bam, repeating the same pattern, going all the way to the top. I'm gonna meet up right there. Perfect. Uh, and then in the middle, I'm just gonna go with a regular line right there of our just a spruce just spruce for now uh we'll see if we tweak it later on but for now let's just make it very plain go straight up to the top and bam so a little tiny little section right there that looks very cool uh and let's leave this for now now what we're going to do next is we're going to the uh second floor and for the second floor we're going to grab this log again and we're going to go right here on this corner we're just going to go up okay so we're going to go up from here we're going to go one two three four five so let's go up five right here. Let's go to this corner. One, two, three, four, I fell, five. <laughs> let's go to this corner. One, two, three, four, and five. And this corner. One, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna go cross beam right here. I'm gonna go cross beam right here. And we're gonna go cross beam here. And we're also gonna cross beam right on this end right here. Perfect. So we have this going. Now, we're gonna do a little bit of a tutor a block uh, section here. And we're just gonna go up every one like this, up by five. And then we're also going to get our bone block. And you can, you, know, you don't have to use bone block of anything. You can use white concrete or white terracotta, but bone block looks the best in this pack. And look at that. We're gonna just cover that up all the way up. And we're gonna continue this all the way around this hole second floor so i'm gonna speed this part up and we'll just catch up when we finish doing this whole tutor experiment right now give me a second uh so we got all this ready to go so now for the next step before we get to the next floor and before we decide where to put windows and stuff let's actually put a little roof on this bad boy this little section over here which definitely needs it so for this one this is what i'm gonna do uh right here on this edge i'm gonna start working on a little roof but before we even do that i'm gonna take this up also uh one level right about here and we're gonna just cross here Cross this right here and we're gonna give it a little border of our wood which gives it a good separation when we go to the next section so we're gonna do a little separation of wood and this is gonna connect right to that wall right there perfect now I'm gonna do a little roof right here we're gonna go again with the same uh, block palette we're gonna go straight down with the stone and then we're gonna put uh, right in the middle we're gonna go with the spruce so we're just gonna go straight up like so like so and then this one I want to go a little taller so we're gonna go with a full block stair right here stair right here upside down stairs on both sides we're gonna go with a uh, full block here full block here stair on here and then from this one i'm gonna go straight up with regular stairs till we get to the very top like here here and here so we have this cool little roof i love that so i'm gonna put upside down stair here i'm gonna go with a full block here and then we're gonna just lay down all the wood right now so go all the way down and we might later on come back in here and detail this just even more but for now let's just go straight down with the wood all the way down till we get to the end and we're just gonna re repeat this thing on the other side so let's do this one fast all right now we're done with that little part so for the middle part here i want to do also the tutor block looking thing uh and i'm gonna go up right here up here and up here with the wood and then we're gonna fill it all in with the bone block and we're gonna pop out a window uh after so we're gonna have that ready to go so that's all set up right here for you okay now next up uh we're gonna go with uh just working on the side here so one thing i really want to do is have multiple ways in so one way in would be over here and then we're gonna end up putting a door let's put a door i'm thinking right here in the center let's put a little upside down stairs so it's a door in right here now on this side we're gonna have another door to get in right here and then i want to maybe make it uh right over here we're gonna make this wide open let's just open this all up right here so you know it's good let's open this all up and i'm thinking right here maybe we could pop in a wood going straight down and we have this little section so let's have this open right here now another way in i want to actually have a way to get up to this floor from down here so uh let's see what the best way to do this so i'm thinking about maybe even putting a door right here so let's take this out one two three for now and let's see what the best way to put a door here um so if i go down just with these full blocks like this so i can tell it's going to take that many blocks to get in so what if we go like so by two and then let's do stairs going all the way down so now we know how to do it so we go here 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 and here 
So we know that's what it takes to get up to that floor, and that looks really cool. Now, we could actually, at this point, we could seal this up and maybe have another way in right here. So at this point, let's just go all the way down, all the way down, all the way down by, let's do three. And now I'm gonna do a full block here, 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 ooh, here, here, and there. Let's close that off, close this off. Let's close this off here too, close this, and let's make a, I think a double door would be kind of cool. Uh, so let's do a double door here and here. Oh, you know what we could do? Let's bring it in to about here. Let's put two upside down stairs there. Actually, let's put them here. And then we can actually recess it in a little bit right here. Watch this. Recess in. Recess, <laughs> recess it in. Uh, let's do a trap door right here. Watch this. It's going to be cool. Uh, let's get a door. Dur door. No, I'm spelling it in incorrectly. There we go. Let's put two doors. Let's put one right here and here. And then here we can put two trap doors, seal that up, and it looks like two big doors right in there. We have a double door right there to get into that one. That is awesome. I love that. Okay, now another thing we could do, uh, we can actually extend this. This is extended by one more. Uh, because right here, see, it's kind of, I don't want to fall back here. So what can we do to make this look cool? Uh, let's actually, hmm. Let's do this. Let's get slabs. Uh, let's do let's do stone slabs. Let's bring these in. I'm gonna go stone slab going all the way up, like so. And let's continue it this way, like this. But then let's also cover that up. Let's take this down. What can we do? We can make some nice uh, uh, little patterns here. Let's go down on this one twice like this. Let's go one here and here. Let's put stairs on uh, each end. Maybe one here, here, and here. And then on this one, we could do the same thing, but we could do it like this. And then, oh, like this, I think. There we go, there we go. And we have this cool little look to it right here. We can even throw a little window on the side, but I think that might be too much. How about just a stair? Let's see, how about a little stair? like this now nah, we're adding too much now we're adding too much let's just go ahead and fill this up so something like that looks pretty good and we have like a nice little pattern in the back and then we can also just texture this a little bit why not let's do this real fast all right there we go so we have a little bit of texturing done on this side a little texture there we got the nice little surrounder uh border we got right there and then we got a nice little pattern in the back it looks pretty really cool i like that uh, we could even throw a little light or something but let's just leave that there for now so we have now a little stair up on the side and that's looking really cool now next let's work on uh where we're gonna put windows uh so i'm thinking if we put windows let's put a big one right there let's come over to this side uh, this looks very plain, so I do want to do some stuff to this section as well. I'm thinking we could actually work on something pretty cool. Uh, we could work on a little balcony out here. So let's actually, right here, let's take this right at this point out. So it's the one, two, three log, third log from there. Let's give it a space. Let's do another one here, here, and here. And let's pop this out. So we're going to go one, two, three out on every one of these. And then we're going to go straight down on one of those. So it's one, two, three, and then we're gonna place that down. So let's go one, two, three, place that down, and we have that, another one, and one more right there. Cross the beam, all of these right in the center. Right there, looks cool. Let's get, uh, oh, we have our slab on us already. Let's get a slab, we're gonna put it right here, here, uh, uh, I'm messing everything, and here. <laughs> Uh, now here, let's just get some fence. I'm gonna bring some oak into this so we can break up the color of spruce. And I'm gonna put right here, all the way around, just like so. And we have this nice little balcony. Uh, and I'm gonna end up probably putting a roof on that. But before we do, uh, let's work on where we're we gonna put the door. <laughs> I'm gonna put a door right here. Let's put an upside down stair right there. So that'll be a door. We can even throw a window here and there. Uh, on these, I don't know if I really wanna mess with it, but I think on this end, I'm gonna put uh, a nice little chimney uh, that can probably be coming out from this end. So I'm thinking we can drop the chimney right on this. So let's get some brick. I'm gonna get regular brick and we're gonna just lay down some details here. Uh, let's get also a wall and let's also get a slab and we'll work on something cool. So I'm thinking if we do it, we'll do it right here. So let's take this all the way up from this corner. And we can do, I'm thinking about a quad one, something like that. So if we do this, 
Um, we can definitely do it, but hmm, let's see. We're gonna have to break this in, so let's do that. Let's break this all the way down. Break this all the way down, take it all the way up, take this one as well, and let's take it all the way in. Let's take it all the way down here. Even this one, there we go. And let's see, go all the way down and then all the way around. So then this back here, we can pop it out a little bit uh, by doing some details. We can actually swing it around, I think, maybe by two and get a little stair action. And then we can do something like that. That looks pretty cool. How about just like this? Oh, that looks cool. Something like, just like that. And then on the top, let's just leave it here for now and we'll raise it up as we go along. But now, next up, what we need to do is work on a, a, a roof for this one. So for this little section, we're gonna do what we did down here and just go, I'm gonna take this one down from here all the way down. So let's see, we're gonna go all the way down this way uh, till we get to the end. Right about there. And then up here, I don't think I wanted to put any windows. I think I might seal that off. But if we really, really wanted to, we could maybe pop some around. Well, we'll see when we go to the next level. Now, let's take this here. I'm going to go also this way. Let's take this all the way down like this. Bam. So this is going to kind of go over this. Let's see. One more. Bam. Okay, so it's still going to be kind of sealed in to that, which is kind of cool. So for this one, I'm going to take it up. We're going to go like so. Let's see if I can mix it around. Let's go. We're going to take it up one full block stair. Upside down. One full block stair. Upside down. One full block stair. Upside down. One full block stair. So all the way up very gradually, just like that. And we're going to repeat the pattern on the other side. So let's go. So full block stair, full block stair till we meet up right in the tippy top. Like so. Let's go. We'll do this fast actually. This one we'll use it easy. All right, so we met up at the top here. It's looking really cool for now. So now, next up, I'm gonna do this also off cam because this is super simple and super easy. I'm just gonna get our spruce and I'm gonna take it all the way to the tippy tippy top uh, and then I'll meet you guys at the end uh, of this little quick little thing thing we're gonna do. All right, here we go. All right, there we go. And I took the um, this little fireplace chimney thing, I took it all the way up at least two higher from the highest point here. So if you look at it, this is one and two. So two higher from that point. Um, this one, I'm just gonna go with a full set of uh, cover wall. And on the top, I'm just gonna put a full set of slabs. Very simple, just like that. But we're gonna break it up a little bit too by getting some of the stairs. And I'm just gonna come in here and we're gonna do a little bit of tweak. So anywhere here, you can go ahead and do it. I'm gonna go one, two, three, four down, put a little upside down stair. Uh, I'm gonna go from this end, one, two, three down, put a stair facing down. I'm gonna go all the way to the second to last. I'm gonna put a little stair there. And I think that's good. I don't think I wanna add too much of this. Mm, maybe one more here, <clears throat> right there. And that's three down from there. Just randomly placed, just to make it a little bit cooler to watch. Uh, down here, maybe add another one. I would say right here, two down from there. And here we could do a little sneaking job right there. And that just gives it a little bit more to look at. I like that, that's cool. Now, uh, let's work on the middle parts right here. Uh, so for this, we're going to do the same thing we did on the other ones, but I'm going to interchange them. We're going to go all the way every other one. So this one, this one, this one, we're going to skip every other one and go up all the way to the tippy top. And we're going to go ahead and just put our tutor blocks uh, looking nice right here. So let's grab this and we're going to go all the way up and we'll pop out the windows at the end. So we're going to go all the way down and we're going to go all the way. Uh, uh, get up, uh, there we go. <laughs> all the way down right there. Perfect. So that looks really, really cool. I'm gonna put a window right over. Let's do it right here. So from this end, with that upside down stairs, we're gonna go out down one, two, and a three. That's it. That's all there is to it. Let's actually uh, make it a little cooler. So for these windows, let's just replace that white and let's put just uh, stair and stair. Actually, let's take it up one more to make put a big window. There we go. That looks cool. Actually, you know what? It might look a little better there and there yeah it looks a little bit i want to keep that white on the top bars this is a little a little bigger um so here we're going to do the same thing it's going to be here 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 so take it up all the way and take this one up all the way i'm going to grab that white again and cover all this up cover all this up and cover all this up and then we're going to repeat that here so we're going to keep that white piece go up three and then we're going to put stair and stair perfecto that looks so cool all right now Next up, let's work on other things. So I want to put windows in this centerpiece. I'm going to put three. I want to put two small ones on each side and one big one in the middle. So the way to do this, I'm thinking about right here. 
Let's knock right in this section. One, two, one, two, one, two. Let's knock these out. I'm gonna come in here and put upside down stairs. And then we're gonna go ahead and get our log. I'm gonna go up one, two, three. One, two, three. Uh, and then right here, we're gonna take this piece out, take that piece out. Let's get our stair block. Uh, right here, stair block, stair block. And here, let's get a full block here and here. Uh, let's do a stair upside down here, a stair here. <clears throat> and we got that ready. Um, let's see what kind of design I'm gonna do. I'm gonna compare it to whatever we do on top. But for now, let's just put an upside down stair here, upside down stairs on all of these, just so we can have it prepped for something cool <laughs> that we're gonna work on. So I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. But one more thing we wanna do. Actually, how about this? Take that piece out here. Let's get a little log. And we're gonna pop it out right to there. Let's put an upside down stair here and here of our regular spruce. So we have that look. Let's do the same thing on the other side. So right here, knock, knock, knock. Take this out, this out. Let's go in here, upside down stairs. Go again with the log, one, two, three, three. <laughs> one, two, three. Twist it with our stone brick. Stone brick, pop out log right there. Full block here and here, stair, stair. Then we have our spruce here and there. Oh, that looks so cool. Okay, and now I wanna put a bigger window here. So for this one, let's knock down that, 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 and that. Let's go ahead and knock all these out, knock all these out. And then we're gonna come over here and do upside down stairs all the way here. Grab our log, I'm gonna go one, two, three, one, two, three. Let's actually do, three is fine, I think. It's, uh, maybe four, let's do a four. Four or three, and now let's do a three. I don't wanna make it too big. Now, let's actually leave those that were there. I'm gonna do the same thing we did here. I'm gonna twist that here, twist this here. Uh, what I really wanna do also, I wanna do something in the middle. Let's actually do, actually I'm gonna make a big window. Let's do a big window with this guy. Uh, so I'm gonna do upside down stair, upside down stair, regular, regular. Let's get the this guy right in the middle. Let's get a full block here. Let's get a full block here and here. Let's do a stair here and we'll, we'll work on design. So that's just a big one right in the middle. It looks kind of cool. I like that. Uh, and to connect this right here, I'm gonna grab a stair and just put it right there. Stair, put it right there. So we have that cool look to it. Oh, that's so nice. I love this. Now, just to go with a little more detail, this is what we could do. So for this one, if you notice, this is where we could put a window and a window here. This is gonna be a little different because it's a little bigger. I'm thinking about putting the window inside. Um, so watch this, this is what we could do for this guy. Uh, let's do, let's come in a little more uh, because if, yeah, we're gonna have to because of the way this is. So let's actually do a, let's get a glass. I'm gonna do yellow, I think might be looking pretty cool. So let's do yellows. I'm gonna put a block going down like so in the middle okay i'm gonna go in here we're gonna put a block inside like this and a block inside like this so let me get outside real fast uh, so it's gonna look like that which is awesome it's like a little bay window and then i'm gonna go up right here on the side can we do that let's see oh man i don't like the way i wish it only connects to one side actually you know what i think i'm just gonna leave it like that I think I'm gonna leave it at that. We could go like this, but it's gonna look a little weird. I wish I had just like the cutaway on the side. So no, I'm just gonna go, I'm just gonna go like that. So that's gonna be the window for this. Oh, I like that. We could, if you wanted to, you could take it all the way in like so. It looks good still, but I don't know. I kind of like having it out one more like that. So it gives it a little more detail. So I'm gonna just do that right there. So that pops out a little more. That looks so cool. Now for these, I'm just gonna go with a full block regular. I mean the full pane regular right there. Oh, that's cool. Okay, now let me do this real fast. I'm gonna go to the other side, just repeat the pattern and I'll be right back with you guys. All right, so we did it on the back and it's cool because it kind of like it gets cut in by this chimney thing we have over here. Uh, so it looks kind of cool and I like how it's like cut cut into that. Uh, I also added this one right here to this building, but let's go ahead. I'm gonna do it here with you guys right now. And what is this doing upside down? There we go. So let's do this one, which is right here, right in the middle. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and knock this out, this one and this one. We're gonna go up one, two, three, four. One, two, three, no, just three, sorry. <laughs> and then we're gonna take those two out. Stair, stair, pop out log. Take that away, full blocks, and then upside down stair right there. 
On the inside, we're gonna put a stair and a stair of spruce and our window right there. So we have that other little pop out uh, going real cool. Now, another thing we're gonna do is let's go to the back real fast. So I wanna do a little something back here. Also, let's put a little window right there. What are we doing? All right, perfect. Uh, and then over here, we can actually do, before we get to the next section, let's put a little window. I'm gonna go with a window right here and here. Uh, let's take away those. I'm gonna put this going downwards. Let's see. Uh, and then you know what will look cool actually let's take these out let's put a stair and a stair and a stair and a stair i think that'll actually look a little better double stairs right there perfect all right cool now back here i want to do a little overhang uh so for that i want to do this let's take away this little middle piece which is right from this line to this line actually i fell uh let's see one more in perfect all right so now i want to take this out right here i'm going to curve it and we're going to leave it right at that point i want to keep going all the way to the end till that log and then we're going to curve it again right there perfect and then i want to go ahead and take this all the way up meeting there take that up meeting on that point right here let's get some of these slabs uh, let's see i don't think i have a slab on me let's grab a slab right here and we're going to go in and around right about here in and around right about here and I think right there, let's actually put a little boop right there. And that looks really cool. We have that going all the way around. That looks awesome. So we're going to keep that uh, on this right here. I'm just going to put a uh, two of these lovelies uh, slabs right here. And then underneath, you know what I want to do? Watch this. This is something I've been like, uh, I've been really liking this. Watch this. Um, actually, you know what? Let's take this out one more just to give it a little overhang. Because I think it might need it. How about, yeah, let's do that. Let's do a quick little overhang. I was looking at it. I was like, you know what? This needs a little overhang. Uh, right about there. Oh, what's happening? A little overhang right around here. Oh, baby. Let's connect this now. Going all the way around. Let's take it one more. Out. And one more out right there. That looks good. But I'm thinking if we do... Let me see. Yeah, no, that looks good. That looks good. I don't want to mess with that. On the inside part, we could mess with it a little bit. Let's take away. Let's see something. This is. I don't like those extra slabs. We don't need. So let's go around here again. Yeah, we don't need those right there. Just to give it a little bit better view from down here. There we go. I might just keep that part right there. We go. So that looks really, really cool. And I'm gonna then take away and add that. And that it looks good. Let's do cross beams now here. To give it a little added support. And then what we could do down here, watch this. Let's grab this slab again. And I'm gonna do a little trick I've been doing recently on these builds. So down here, I'm gonna do every other one. I'm going to put a slab. Watch this. We're gonna go all the way around. Every other one, put a slab on the bottom. There's some new school stuff. And then let's get some trap door of the spruce variety. And we're gonna put trap door on every other one down here on the bottom something new that i've been doing and i love this and this goes all the way around it gives it a little trim look how cool that is we're going to do that on all of this so let's go right here too let's go with uh slab 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 oh actually i want to end it with a slab so let's end them with the slab so right there and then we got trap 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 so i want to end these corners with slabs so corner slab then we're going down this way and this way and then trap door here 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 and there Oh man, see that looks so cool going all the way around like that? I like it. Uh, I'm gonna do it over here as well. So let's go, every other one gets a slab. And then every other one we miss gets a trapdoor. And that looks so cool, I love that. Let's do it again right here. So let's go every other one. Uh, and here, oops, there we go. And trap, 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 all the way around. Let's see, everything's looking cool. Oh man, I like that. That is so cool. All right, cool. So it's, it's, it's coming out really good. I like what, everything that's happening here. Now we gotta do a little bit of detail and I'm thinking about maybe doing something up on the bottom here. So how about some stairs, stair and trap action right there. Let's do another one here. So stair, stair, trap door action right there. And then over here, let's do another little stair, stair, and how about we do a slab and trap door combo on that? And that gives it that cool little look going all the way around. I love that. Looking very cool. Now, let's get out of here. So, another little thing we could do is down here. Uh, I'm thinking for these, I'm just going to put slabs. And then next to the slab underneath it, I'm going to put a trap door 
like that and we get that cool look i love that that looks awesome uh for this bottom part i'm gonna do what we did on the top with some stairs going here and here and some trap doors in the middle and we can actually do this on all of these just to give it that cool look that goes all the way around and we got that going there uh just to give it a little bit more detail here i might drop some trap doors right there just to show that it kind of curves around and i'm also going to put them on this side and that gives it like a cool little support uh, right there which looks awesome uh also another thing we could do is right in here i want to seal this off so for this part you know what let's get the white in i might just get the white in and go straight in like that and give it that cool little look to it i'm gonna do it also again on this side just to cover that up oh baby there you go that's looking awesome. Now, let's work on a little bit more details. Let's actually add glass to this piece as well. And you know what, after seeing it, I think I wanna put right here and here, stairs that might look a little better. So we have this going all the way around. Uh, since this is kind of plain and, and just not doing nothing on this side, I'm gonna do a little window right here. Just add a little, a little bit more detail on that corner. Uh, add that glass here. Uh, we can also do it over here just to add that little bit of extra detail and add that glass right there Oh, look at awesome uh, Here it looks a little plain. So I might mess with a little bit of this. How about if we go in the middle and Do right here a little stair action How about if we do Actually, I want to twist this. Let's do see. There we go. Take that out Take that out get rid of that piece Let's do a slab. And I'm gonna go ahead and just replace this little piece right there. That looks so good. And I think I might just do, let's break this little piece off. How about I do that? And put a little window right there. And that, it, it really does, you don't need it, but I think it just adds to it. It looks really cool. I might even continue the stair right here just to continue that little pattern going up. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's cool. All right, so we have that look. That's here. We have another door there. This little back side looking nice. I know I think the um, next thing we need to add is some windows to the bottom. Uh, so the best way to do it is let's actually come inside. I'm going to seal this off. So let's put a cross beam here. I'm going to put a cross beam right up the middle like this. Another one going this direction. We have a nice little seal job here. Uh, we can go ahead and just cover all this up right here and cover all this up right here with slabs all the way down and then finish this off so let's cover this up and we're going to cover this up and finish off by covering that there we go so we have this oh look at all this space so so good um oh and let's put some more glass right there before we forget oh it's looking lovely now another thing we could do here i would do cross beam right in the middle just to add that little extra detail right there uh separating this floor now i would probably separate it right at the same level where the cross beams are at so i might do the same pattern you see on the bottom repeat it on the top just so you get a good idea where the separation is going to be uh for between the second third four uh, whatever floor you got uh so that looks good uh i might even lift it up a little bit how about oh here i have a bunch of upside down stairs that we had that already from before so what we can do here how about we do cross beam here also let's get rid of this that we had already i want to cross beam here then we have this going i might even do another cross beam double cross beam so we have that and then another one right here and that kind of closes in these windows that we have right there right about there uh, so we have this little level and you know what you might even make this into the flooring uh let's see actually you know what this is probably a better level to just lay it down in right here and i might even full block this right here and maybe have like a little ladder to get up in this section right about there and we have this nice wide open feel right here i like that uh here i might even let's do stairs like this May, uh, yeah i would do that just stairs going all the way around take these out take these out and stare all the way down and around like that and that keeps that cool look to it do we even need that i don't even think we need that but it might even be pretty cool to have that cross beam meet up right there actually yeah that looks pretty cool 
So meet that cross beam with that cross beam. And it actually adds detail to it. And we can even do one from this side to this side. Right there. Oh man, this looks so good. So much space. Uh, put the ladder really anywhere. So that's, it could be at any spot. It doesn't even matter. Uh, and then over here, that is a nice roof, even like this. I might even do this just to add even more details to it. Put a row right there and another row right over here. And then in the middle, uh, maybe just some stairs from this side to this side, from this side to this side, and then repeat that little stair pattern going like that and like that. And then maybe in the middle, just trap door that up like so. Trap door that up like so. And trap door that up. One more trap door. <laughs> All right, cool. Uh, as far as more details that you could do, um, I don't know, I don't really, I wouldn't overdo it, but why not? We could just go all the way down like so, like that. Maybe another like this, boom. Going all the way around. There we go, stairs going like that with that pattern. That's a very nice pattern. Boom, there we go. And another boom, right there. And that kind of just mirrored all the way around, gives it a little bit more detail on the ceiling. And that looks pretty cool if I say so. Uh, I would do maybe a little upside down stair here. We have our door and we have all this place to work with. Uh, you can separate the rooms as you see fit. You can do so many things to this. I'm not gonna do really any interior on this thing. Use, use your imaginations, go crazy. But we could definitely separate this section really into multiple rooms. Have a room back here, have a room on the side. You maybe have even a big old lofty area and maybe separate it back here. Uh, you could do a lot of stuff. This section here uh, could definitely use it as almost like a living area, a library, um, different bedrooms, and maybe save the top for uh, your master bedroom, or maybe even the top, have it for um, storage, and maybe have bed a big bedroom back here, living quarters right here. Uh, you can really play around with it and do anything really with this. There's so many things, so many things you can do. Uh, but in, on the bottom end, uh, this one would probably be like your kitchen and maybe, a, uh, uh, I don't know, next door. This is definitely for like a servant's quarters. Maybe you can even have a way in on this end here. So this would probably will, will be like your servant's quarters. And then this will be a little walk way in, maybe over here on the side, um, to the kitchen area and maybe over here in the dining room area. This part here could definitely be separated by maybe doing something like this, doing something kind of cool, maybe with trap doors too. And we have this big way in uh, on this side. And this does so much. This little trick that I've been doing recently with the builds, give it a cool little archway to get in. And that's so cool with these new trap doors. I love it. Uh, but as far as windows here, I would probably put like maybe a double, maybe not a double, like a sing, not windows here, but you have to have maybe Maybe a way in here from this will be like a side entrance. Uh, right about there. Okay, a little side door uh, that goes from here to here. And this can actually lead to a basement if you really want to keep going down uh, on this part. So it's really up to you guys if you want to do something like that. But that'd be kind of cool. A little basement to go down there. Uh, so we have another way in here. Uh, this side, oh, let's see where we can put windows. I could maybe put one right here. Maybe a nice little triple window. Uh, right here, maybe another one. If I do another spacing of two, this is one, two, or maybe not. Maybe like right, maybe do a, a double, uh, two little ones here, one big one here. And here I'll have my uh, chimney action. Uh, and this will pretty much go right there. And then you can do something on the edge right here. Let's see some, uh, let's see stairs of brick. And I could do maybe something like so. Do something like this. Maybe come down again. Full block on both sides. And then maybe even have like a little opening right there. And then put a couple furnaces in here. That would be a cool little trick uh, right here. I'll have like a furnace, double furnace, double furnace. And that'll be that right there. And then you can use this as a little sill to put stuff on top. But that looks really cool. Uh, you, if you want, you can even expand it right here. Or have this whole back end. This is, is going to be like the kitchen area almost. Maybe something like that. 
right here in the area maybe just up to here so it could look pretty cool uh and then the rest could be blocked off with like stone or cob or anything like that uh double window for sure here so you could just drop these down and window here and here would look pretty good and then have this whole section as like your kitchen area uh and then here i would have like a big dining room area which would look pretty cool uh you don't need really any more space here and here uh and then if anything if you want to wait up here uh, there's really no space <laughs> you could have a little like pantry kind of thing over here so i would maybe put a ladder right there to get to the top you can have a little pantry kind of thing uh hidden area right there it'll be pretty cool you have all the space and then here the servants quarters definitely separations i would probably put right here with some cross beam actually i'll do cross beam here and here take these down and then you'll have another floor uh for and this will be the servants quarters and stuff you can just close this off have a little ladder or even a stair but i will put a ladder so you can save space uh and i wouldn't have any access to this floor from this side so uh, unless you want to make this into a big house uh you maybe have a little step down that goes here but i will make this into the, the servants quarters or something like that uh and that's it this will be your little servants quarters uh you could maybe knock this down for more space here it's always good for saving spaces to knock these down and on the other side you can't even tell maybe even continue the cross beam action like we did on the other side here and then here we could probably even do some more details like so and maybe even have a cross beam again right up top like so perfect and then if you want even more details uh maybe add another little set of trap doors which i always like adding on these tippy tops right there so this will be your service quarters maybe even have a little stair going up right there in the corner uh as far as windows and stuff oh you know what this might have to be up because this is elevated so let's see something let's raise this up raise this up uh let's do a little random placement of blocky blocks there we go uh so this will be elevated so then this would be here so then this would have a little step up or step down to it so it's fine you can do something like this that goes into it that's fine you can even maybe have this elevated too if you really wanted to uh so a little step down no big deal and then this is step up and you get in here perfect another little door and i think we might be closing it off right now close this off uh windows down here hmm we could do a little arrow slit ones uh maybe one here and one there maybe one right there so let's see let's get some stairs and then we could do some arrow slit ones it doesn't have to be something too big maybe a little double one right there a little double one here yeah maybe another one right there uh, actually i like them the other direction because it gives you a little more space in between maybe here and there a couple little arrow slit ones maybe even a little lower i think might actually be better so how about we do this yeah 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 like that bam and bam yeah a couple little arrow slits like that they don't need that much space this is a service after all uh and then do another one let's see facing this way and facing this way so little arrow slit ones so they don't get like the really nice windows uh and then over here for details you can add a little potted plant maybe one here maybe a triple one right there and then this surround it like so another one on this side so we got little flower box actions uh we can add a few more just for a little bit of details uh maybe right under the windowsills right here so we got bum and we got another one right here bum 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 adding just a little more just to add a little bit of atmosphere to this thing and there we go another little flower box and then i think that's good for the bottom floor as far as flower boxes are concerned i don't think we need to really add too much more um another little bit of detail that you could add would be to this maybe adding you know what let's modify this a tad how about a double stair to get in just so this look a, looks a little better and then here we could add this uh this thing we have over here the uh, regular smooth stone slabs let's just go all the way down oops on every other one like so and that has a little extension there that looks pretty cool you can even take it maybe to there let's see what that looks like and we could add another one right there let's see nah nah i don't like that let's just leave it how it was i just wanted to test that out so i want to take it in one more and just go boop, boop. there we go that looks really cool maybe even down here something like that oh hold on this is nasty 
There we go. Oh, what? Um, better. Okay. <laughs> so that looks pretty cool. Let's add another little door uh, to this thing right over here. We're almost done. There's only one little thing I want to do. And that is give a little more life to these roofs. It looks really flat, so I want to give it just a little something, a little something more. Uh, nothing too crazy. This is medieval, not going too fantasy style. Uh, so for this one, I just want to grab some slabs. Uh, and for these, we're going to go regular stone slab. I think in just a little row of that. Just like that, just to give it a little bit of detail. Every other one, we're just going to go one top and go all the way down. Just to give it just a little something. Like so. On over here, same thing. Maybe two here. Two there. Two here. Nope, this one needed it too. Where are you going? And then we got a little slab here and here. This one needs it right there and there. There and there. And that just adds just a little more detail uh, to that roof. So that looks very, very cool. Let's check all the way around, see if we're not missing anything. Oh, here we go. We're missing these. So we're going one here and here. And then we got that. Oh, so cool. Last but not least, come on now. Let's add some buttons. I'm going to go with regular stone this time. And we're going to add it to all the exposed little logs that we have all the way around. Oh, we forgot one here. What happened? There we go. Where did the button go? It's gone. And there it is. And you know what? Here we can do a little upside down stair. I can't believe I missed that one. Okay, let's keep going. Where are we missing buttons? There we go. Button, button, button. And you know what? Let's do it here too. Bam, bam. Upside down stair and button. Just to get it's a little more. Uh, this one, I don't think I'm going to put one because ah, just a smaller roof. I don't want to mess with it. And uh, we can also add our custom sexy flowers. Any flower will do. Just go nuts. This is mix and match, whatever. It doesn't matter. So let's go with white, pink, red. Let's go with red, white, blue, or red. What again? No, let's do a blue one. Okay. Blue, white, tulip, blue. No tulip, perfect. Uh, so we have some flower box all the way around. You can go, keep going. You can go crazy, add a bunch more details. But I think, I think that's good. You could even beat up the the a little, like I do sometimes. I'll mess up these whole things here. Maybe knock some stuff down. Put full blocks where full blocks are. Put stairs where stairs are, and just go crazy like that. Uh, but I think, oh, that. Uh, I have to go back inside, don't I? uh fixed okay but these i'm gonna leave plain if you want you can go ahead and just play around with it beat it up make it all rustic destroyed and stuff but this one i'm gonna make it very very clean this time uh so there it is that's all there is to it let's take a quick little spin hopefully you guys did enjoy this one this was a lot of fun to make uh i'm very happy with it let me know if there's any other builds you want me to try build styles build types specific houses uh on the next episodes i might drop one in there just for you well this one came out really really cool i like it so much all right <laughs> I'm out of here for now. Thank you, everybody, for watching. And I'll catch you on the next episode of Building with Sauce. See you guys later. Goodbye.